Hey guys, welcome to our question and answers video where we answer your film questions and general questions. I'm here with Alexander Hi. and uh, you may know him from a lot of the videos. So uh, we're going to dive straight into it and let's get going. So first question is from Anigo Casillas. Um, he says, Hi, I really like editing. He enjoys filmmaking uh, and he's watched several tutorials on how to edit. Uh, however, I still find it hard to color grade. He says, any tips or tutorials? I think um, the best way to get good at color grading would be actually to get Lightroom or Photoshop or something like that and actually color grade photos um, or edit photos. Yeah, just that. editing photos in any way. It's just a bit more subtle with film, but yeah, same thing really. So that's how like you kind of just get an eye for what it should be like. And also a big thing I think people make mistakes on is oversaturating photo um, video. So um, just keep an eye out for that and wish you luck. Fernando asks, are you working on any future videos at the moment? Um, we definitely are. Um, we're putting a lot of planning into our next few videos coming up. Um, because our last videos that we uploaded have got loads of uh, feedback, good feedback. And uh, I think we're going we're gonna to try to put more effort into these. So uh, yeah, I think they'll be good. Yeah. Loads of planning. Um, and also for some of the bike people, I, have, um, I haven't done any mountain biking videos yet. So definitely mountain bike videos coming up and the skate videos loads of loads of just action packed stuff we ha we have it all planned this summer so yeah uh, brian cinemas says uh, i had the same camera but what settings um, that make it so clean um, so basically what i think uh, makes makes a film the film look good is that i use a gorilla pod to steady the shots out um, but my settings i generally record in 60 frames per second for second, <laughs> for second, when I know um, I'm going to do slow mo, so I know when Alexander, you were doing the jumps or something like that, we record in 60 frames and slow it down. Um, for any of the real cinematic shots, 24 frames. Yeah, 24 frames a second, and um, it just gives you that real nice film sort of look. That more um, natural looking. To yeah, the eye. Looks yeah. Like real life. Anything else? Oh, and just no. make sure your shutter speed is right as well. Always try get double the shutter speed. So if you're shooting 60 frames per second, have no less than 120 in shutter speed. Uh, it just gives you that smooth uh, footage when, you come, when it comes to editing. Mark Gurry asks, how do you do the transition going from side to side? So that's just a preset on Adobe Premiere Pro. It's uh, pretty simple to make, or you can download one online for free. Um, and as well, uh, there's just plenty of videos on YouTube that explain really easily on how to do it. So I just look up slide transition and uh, you'll find it there. Okay, here's a good question. Uh, what movie could you watch over and over and still love? Oh, um. I know mine is uh, Enemy at the Gates. I think the way it's shot and the storyline is so good. Um, if you don't know it, it's a World War II or World War I sniper movie. Totally underrated. I don't think many people know about it, but it's sick. It's so good. I can't remember it. So we have another question on Instagram saying, are you afraid of heights? Nope, not at all. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Juanes Mesa says, uh, does the Nikon D3400 have time lapse? Um, I don't believe so. I don't think so. Um, as I said, you're probably going to have to get an entry kilometer. Claudia Ortega asks, how do you color grade your videos? You can, um, I would say just, just yeah, you, you can also actually, I forgot about this, you can get a filter and you can uh, download filters for, for the film and it just basically puts on everything. But the real way to do it is actually try uh, do it yourself. I know there's a setting, uh, it's color wheel, I use color wheel um, and it just does subtle color grade. So uh, Marcus Betancourt says, uh, how do you get everything in focus, my Nikon D3400? Uh, always jumps in and out of focus when recording. So basically when um, when I do focusing on moving shots, I generally use autofocus. The important thing is guys, is the focusing has to, it has to suit the situation that you're filming in. So it changes for everything. And um, especially with the moving shots, I'd use autofocus. Vinay Mackin asks, when will you start daily vlogging? Oh, when will I start daily vlogging? I actually considered it, um, but I know, I, I think the problem is with daily vlogging is, it's boring. Uh, yeah, I don't think my life's that too interesting for you guys, especially to watch me every day. So I know we've been working on some plans and stuff like that. So I think if we get time to plan videos 
and just come out with a good good content. We have loads of stuff in store, so yeah. So maybe, I don't know yet. <laughs> maybe. Aster Lifestyle says he's gonna buy the D3400, so any advice on what the pros and cons are and does the camera shoot time lapses? So what I would say is from using both the D3300 and the 3400, um, I'd say actually the D3300 is better uh, purely for the price range because I know especially with the people buying the cameras they're on a tight budget but want a good camera um, and does it shoot time lapse? Um, I don't, I haven't used the time lapse on the D3400 but I know the D3300, <laughs> I'm saying so much about numbers now, but um, I know it doesn't shoot time lapse. If you guys do want to shoot time lapse, you're gonna to have to buy yourselves a thing called an intervalometer. So a question for both of us uh, from Instagram, I believe. Are we a cat or a dog person? I am totally a dog person. Are we a cat or a dog person? <laughs> or, uh, am I a cat or a dog person? Um, I'm, a, I'm a dog person. What are you? Uh, I'm somewhere in the middle. I okay. do have a cat though, so. <laughs> a cat. I do. Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't even know he had a cat. Right. Yeah, I got him like this week. Anonymous on Instagram says, um, where do you get your music for your vlogs? Uh, SoundCloud is usually a pretty good place. Yeah, just make sure that there's a section in YouTube, um, if you're going to upload videos onto YouTube, that show what uh, music is copyrighted. Um, I'm sure there's some video on it, so just look it up at some point. Okay, uh, BB Cool says, nice video. Uh, what editing software are you using? Um, I use Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro. So yeah, I think it's a 2015 or 2016 edition. Yeah, one of them. Uh, a question for Alex. Uh, what's your favorite artist at the moment? Meaning music. Um, I don't know, it, it depends on the genre. Oh. <laughs> for, for, uh, for rap, it'd probably be Kendrick Lamar. I think he's great. Um, I really like Tame Impala and also The Weeknd, so. Yeah, that's sweet. And uh, for me, FKJ, he's like uh, this sort of like, I don't even know how to explain it, but he's multi-instrumental. Um, and I like Jack Johnson. I, li I like pretty much all music. Daniel ADH says, do you use manual focus? So uh, right now we're currently using manual focus. And uh, basically if your subject isn't gonna be moving and the distance between the camera subject isn't gonna be changing much, manual is the way to go. So we have a good question here from Tox Peralta. Um, are you shooting in manual moving settings? Um, because every time I uh, set to manual moving settings, it's really dark. Uh, so, okay. So basically, um, your settings on manual are probably a bit wonky, and you always have you have to change your settings to the amount every of light you have. Yeah, yeah. So you have to change it. So what I think there is is that you're obviously shooting on a slightly maybe dark day and your, um, your shutter speed's really high, you might have real low ISO. So what I'd say is if, you're, if, something's, if it's really dark at the moment, uh, whack your ISO up to something really high um, and make your shutter speed really low, so something around like 60, um, and then work from there. So try bring them back down and then you'll find a balance of what, uh, that what you're actually seeing. So what, what your eyes see is what your camera should see. Do you want to say anything there? No, just okay. action maybe. Oh yeah, and um, yeah. Uh, Diabetes. Uh, how do you find the internal microphone? Uh, we're currently using it right now. I bought myself a Rode video mic, so that's on its way. Uh, probably should have waited to film this, but it's this, this video has been way too far pushed back. So yeah, um, you're hearing it right now. And you're hearing it in all the other clips as well. Jamie Cordoza says, how do you import your files from your camera to the PC? Uh, what I do is, is I just have an SD slot in my computer, so I just put it straight in. Um, and you? Uh, my computer doesn't have that, so, so I just connect my camera to my computer because I don't have that slot. Um, and that way you just drag over the files. Yeah, and then I just drag my files over. Um, when you're importing files, be careful not to import them straight into something like uh, iPhoto or something because that'll just reduce the quality straight away. You know that. What lens do you use? What lens? I use a 18 to 55 VR lens, so it was the kit lens that came with the camera. Um, it's good that you get the VR lens because that means it's actually sorry. The VR means it's stabilized, 
So when you're moving, it just gives you that added stability. How long have you been shooting video? Me? I think it's, well, I've been shooting video for probably about a year or more. Um, I used to do a lot of bike videos, so I used to do more like reviews and things. Um, but actually shooting with the camera, with the DSLR, probably a year now, I'd say. <laughs> Look at these boys. These boys. <laughs> that kind of wraps up the uh, questions from YouTube and social medias. So I just thought maybe we might just ask each other questions. Um, so I was thinking, Alex. Yeah, what kind of videos do you watch on YouTube? Um, so I watch a bit of everything. Uh, a few vlogs, kind of some skating stuff, some sailing stuff. Um, uh, some how-to videos. For me, um, I watch uh, a lot of like short cinematics, edits. Um, I'm a big fan of John Olson and uh, his Coda team, and uh, yeah, just things that um, things that are good. Um, I'm also a fan of Vsauce as well. Oh, yeah. Vsauce. Love a bit of Vsauce. Yeah. Okay. Um, is your ultimate goal in life to become J Alvarez? <laughs> um, I mean, okay, J Alvarez is a pretty cool guy. Um, I'm a big fan of his hair, as you can probably see, you know. Um, but as well as is his um, his actual films he makes are quite good. I wasn't the biggest fan of his recent video, but uh, definitely I check it out, guys. Um, and I think he has a lot more stuff to come. So he definitely knows what he's doing when it comes to shooting videos. And uh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> this is like, that's it for the queue. Yeah, I changed your mind. Go on, go on. It's like, yeah. That's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, if this video helped you, like, um, and I hopefully got to answer all your questions. I know there was some that we couldn't do, so uh, there was just too many. Be Stay sure. tuned for the next video. Sweet. That's a wrap. Yeah. I don't want to be like. <laughs> okay.